Hello learners, welcome to this course on Fundamentals and Programming of 8085 Microprocessor. In this tutorial, I will be discussing about on how to interface a DAC digital to analog converter 0808IC with 8085 Microprocessor. First, let us start with the fundamentals of DAC 0808IC. So it is a 8-bit digital to analog converter. So meaning it converts your digital data into an analog voltage or current. So it is a 8-bit DAC. 8-bit represents we can give a 8-bit digital data and this 8-bit digital data can be converted into an analog current or voltage. So we have two types of DAC 0808 binary weighted DAC and R2R ladder type. So here in this 8-bit DAC, it provides 256 discrete voltage or current levels. So we have 256 different voltages or current levels. For each binary pattern, a corresponding voltage or current will be generated. So like that, we can have 256 levels because it's an 8-bit DAC. 2 power 8 is nothing but 256. So 256 discrete voltage or current levels of output can be produced. So the basic conversion of your binary data into an analog value is using this formula. I out which is the output current coming out of your DAC is equal to reference current into D7 by 2 plus D6 by 4 plus D5 by 8 plus D4 by 16 plus D3 by 32, plus D2 by 64, plus D1 by 128, plus D0 by 256. Where this D0 is the LSB data, least significant bit, D7 is the MSB bit, most significant bit. So usually the I reference will be greater than or equal to 2 milliampere of current. So depending upon the binary content or the 8 bit data, our output current will be generated. Then we can use a simple resistor and allow the current to flow through that resistor to calculate the voltage or we can use an op-arm based current to voltage converters to generate the output voltage. Now let us see the pin details of the DAC 0808. So this is a 16 pin IC. So here I have shown the pin details of a DAC 0808 16 pin IC. So we have this pin number 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 represents the 8 bit data. So pin number 12 gives the LSB data and the MSB is given with the uh, pin number 5 is given with the MSB data. And pin number 4 produces the output current and this can be connected to a voltage by using a resistor or using a current to voltage converter circuit. So we also have a reference voltage need to be provided to this DAC and the compensation voltage can be given through this VEE and compensation pins. So now let us see how to interface this DAC with 8085 microprocessor. So there are two ways in which we can do that. So we can connect the 8085 to a latch, the 8 bit latch. So in this case, I have used 74LS273 which is an 8-bit latch. So the data from your CPU data lines D0 to D7, it goes into this latch and from latch we can get that output Q0 to Q7. And this Q0 to Q7 can be given as an input to your DAC. The binary data coming from your microprocessor can be given as an input to your DAC and depending upon the binary data, the output current will be generated. I out will be generated. Then this current can be converted into a voltage using a simple op amp circuit which is a current to voltage converter circuit. So this is one way of interfacing 8085 microprocessor with DAC and we can also interface using a 8255 programmable peripheral interface. So before moving on to that let me discuss about uh, another methodology to convert your current into voltage. So here I have shown a circuit diagram where you can see the data. This data can be coming from your microprocessor. So here for example I have connected it to VCC which means all the bits are 1. 
and the corresponding output current is generated and this output current flows through a resistor thereby i can get the voltage across this resistor now let us see uh, another way of interfacing your 8085 microprocessor with dac 0808 so here we make use of a 8255 ic which is a programmable peripheral interface so the ad not to ad7 coming from your microprocessor goes to the ad not to ad7 of your 8255 then we have a read signal and write signal is controlled by IOR bar and IOW, IO read and IO write signal. This is in an IO mapped IO mode. In case of a memory mapped IO mode, we can use ME MR and ME MW bar. And a reset signal can also be coming from the microprocessor. And this A0 and A1 selects the ports in your A255. So if it is 0, 0, then port A is selected, 0, 1, port B will be selected, 1, 0, port C will be selected, 1, 1, control word register will be selected. So this A0 and A1 coming from a 885 microprocessor can be used to select the corresponding ports, port A, port B, port C or control word registers. Since this is configured in an IO mapped IO mode, it's an 8 bit address for IO devices so two bits we have used here so remaining six bits we try to use it for chip select lines so the data coming from your microprocessor it passed on to the 8255 from 8255 the data goes to your tag 0808 so for 8255 this is the output data and it is given as an input to your z 0808 and this ic converts the digital data into a analog current and this analog current gets converted into a voltage by using a current to voltage converter. So now let us look at the simple program to generate a square wave using DAC 0808 IC. So first statement MVI A, comma AB which means move immediate data 80 to A accumulator control. So 80 is nothing but 170s. So here this is used for configuring your 8255. So for configuration, we know the control word register format is here, I have shown here. So D7 bit 1 means it's a IO mode. And the next two bits is for mode selection for port A. So 00, 0 means mode 0, 0, 01 means mode 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1 means mode 2. So mode 0 is a simple IO mode, mode 1 is a IO mode with handshake signals, mode 2 is a bidirectional IO mode. And the pin bit D4 represents the input or output functions of a port A. If it is set with 1, then the port A is configured as input. If it is set with 0, port A is configured with output. Then I have D3 for IO function for port C upper, PC4 to PC7. So again, it is set with 1 means it is an input, 0 means it is an output. Then I have 2 bits for port B. D2 is for mode selection of port B. So 0 means mode 0, 1 means mode 1. Again, mode 0 means it's a simple IO mode. Mode 1 means IO mode with handshake signals. And bit D1 represents whether it is an input or an output. And D0 is port C lower IO function. Again, 1 means input, 0 means output. So here we are using only port A alone. So port A alone is used. So port A from 8 to 5, 5, we need to configure it as an output pin because it goes as an input to your DAC 0808. So we need to configure this as an output pin. So we are going to work only with the port A. So port A, I'm going to set it as simple IO mode. 0, 0 is set, which means it's a mode 0. It's a simple IO mode. Then next bit represents the functionality of the port A. So here we are setting it to 0, meaning it's an output. It's an output from your A to 5. So this is the output. Other bits we don't care because we are not going to use port B or port C lower or port C upper. So we can either put it as 0 or we can put it as 1. So this value 80 goes to your accumulator. From accumulator, it goes to 2, 3. Address. So 23 is nothing but the control word register address. So it goes and gets configured. A255 gets configured. 
So next 0, 0 is sent to accumulator. From accumulator, it goes to your port A. So port A is sent with 0, 0. So if 0, 0 goes to this DAC, then 0 volt will be generated here. Then we wait for some time. So we introduce a delay function called delay function. So this 0 volt is maintained for a certain time period. Then we are setting FF to accumulator. From accumulator it goes to 20 again. So now we are sending FF to the DAC. So our output voltage will be 5 volt. Then again we call a delay function. And after the delay function, again I go and send 0. So which means we get a 0 volt for some time then a 5 volt for some time, then again 0 volt for some time, 5 volt for some time. So which means we are generating a square wave by using this port. So the delay function, this is a subroutine for your delay function. So we initialize two counters, B as well as C. So B counter is initialized with the 5 and the C counter is initialized with FF. So first we decrement the C. So then we check whether our C has reached 0. If not, again I start decrementing the C counter. So it becomes FE, FD, FC. So like that it goes on. Once it reaches 0, once the C counter reaches 0, then I start decrementing the B. So B will change from 5 to 4. Again, we run the C counter from FF to 0, 0. So like that it goes on. So when the subroutine completes, it introduces a delay. It can be in terms of a 10 microsecond or 10 millisecond, depending upon the T states of each and every instructions and the type of oscillator frequency connected to our microprocessor. So this is the methodology of generating a square wave using a DAC 0808 IC. So now let us see another example of how to generate a sawtooth waveform. So sawtooth waveform is something like it will start with 0, it keeps on increasing to a maximum value, then again it comes back to 0. So it is something like a triangular wave. So here again first step is we need to configure the 8255. So for configuring again D7 bit is 1 which means we have configured it as IO mode, then next to 2 bits for port A mode 0 and the next bit is for port A output functionality. Then the other bits are not required so we can leave it as it is as 0 or we can say it as 1. So this value is 80 so we move that 80 to accumulator from accumulator we move it on to control word register. Then I am going to initialize the accumulator with A uh, accumulator with 00, 0 then send that 00, 0 to 20. 20 is your port A. Through port A, we are going to send it. So our output voltage will be 0. Then I am starting incrementing A. So our accumulator will get incremented to 1. Then again it is sent out. So a corresponding voltage will be generated. Then again incrementation of A. Again that new binary bit pattern is sent to the port A. Then again a new value of voltage is generated. So like that it keeps on going. So it starts with 0. It goes and reaches the maximum value. After reaching the maximum value, it comes back to 0. So thereby, a sawtooth waveform is being generated by using this code. So in this tutorial, I have discussed about on how to interface a DAC 0808, which is an 8-bit digital to analog converter with 8085 microprocessor. And also, I have discussed about a simple programming to generate a square wave and a sawtooth waveform using DAC 0808 IC. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more technical learning. Thank you.